Um, I'm going to attempt to walk and talk to you at the same time, so this could go badly. Um, we have finally left Dundee, we have come out for our walk, um, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad, but we have come out to um, a place up near a place called Edsel. We are at the Brown and White Catahans, Catahans, not 100% sure how to pronounce it. We've been here once before. Um, basically they are kind of the ruins, but not even ruins really, of two um, Iron Age forts. Um, the Brown Catahan, which is, oh, I don't know if you can see it from here, that one there, and the White Catahan, which is the one we're going up right now. Um, so yeah, they're kind of, they used to be Iron Age forts on the top of big hills. Now it's mostly just a load of rubble and stones, but you can just kind of make out the shape basically but yeah we'll show you the views and um, typically the weather was beautiful for the last few days and today it's a bit gray and it's been raining a little bit but not too bad when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So this hill that you can see just in the distance here is the other Catahan, the brown Catahan. Um, and you can kind of see from here where the rings are at the top. Um, but that one is a lot less defined. We've been up that one before. Um, this is the first time we've been up the white one. Um, but we have been up the brown one before. And yeah, the rings are a lot less defined. But you can kind of see from the distance where the walls of the fort used to be. It's definitely an interesting place. Lovely and wild and stunning views as I keep showing you the same views again and again because they're just so lovely. What I haven't mentioned yet today is that it's our wedding anniversary. We have been married for 12 years today 
yep. which sounds like a really long time and always surprises me. But we were babies when we got married. Well, actually babies. <laughs> well, close enough. I was only 22. You were what? 25? Uh, 24. 24, 25, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. We were tiny babies. <laughs> So should we find out which one you are? Yeah. Okay. Is there a side to you your friends know nothing about? Yes. Do you go by a secret name? No. Do you deserve to be the special? No. Is what you do magic? No. Do you think caves are cool? Yes. Is dark and brooding your thing? No. Are you just being dark and brooding right now? No. Wait, how do you feel about spaceships? Why do you ask? You totally love spaceships, don't you? Okay, you've got me. I do love spaceships. You're Benny! Mm, he's in the Lego movie too! Seeing as it's our wedding anniversary today, I thought it would be fun to dig out our wedding box with all the kind of bits and pieces from our wedding and share with you. Unfortunately, I can't share my wedding dress because it's at my parents' house in Cornwall. Um, but we've got photographs and things like that. Hopefully they're in this box. I think they're in this box. They may not be. Um, but yeah, I have, however, got a little bit distracted. I meant to come up and start recording this bit about 10 minutes ago. But in order to get the wedding box out of the wardrobe, I also had to get this box out of the wardrobe. So this box <laughs> um, is a box that I've had for years and it is full of cards and letters and all kinds of things. So these were cards from when um, Jasper was born. Um, there's probably ones even from when Arthur was born. Um, yeah, possibly ones from when Arthur was born. There's cards in here for our engagement. There's cards for all kinds of stuff that I've obviously kept. I also write, used to write a lot of letters um, to kind of lots of people. Um, so I've got letters addressed to me when I was at uni. That was my university address. Um, and yeah, there's just so much stuff in here. It's amazing. I'd love to be able to go through it all with you, but it would just take far too long. But does anyone else have a box like this? I mean, look, you can see like packs. I've organised it at some point. Letters I used to write to my uni friends. There's some really embarrassing ones in here um, that are letters Tom used to write to me when we first got together. I've lost them now. Um, they're in there somewhere. Letters Tom used to write to me when we were first together, but we were both at different universities. Um, so yeah, does anyone else have a box of letters and cards and chaos like me? 
This, however, is the wedding box. <laughs> Um, and there's all kinds of things in here. Oh gosh, actually, there's more than just wedding stuff in here. Look, there's first shoes. I can't remember that. I will have put a note on to say whose first shoes they were. Oh, Jasper's. That means these must be Arthur's first shoes. <laughs> the things we keep, hey? Um, but yeah, this is my wedding box. I don't know what that's in there for. Um, but there's all kinds of bits in here. They've got cards from our cards from our wedding day um we've also got what i really wanted to dig out is i know that in here somewhere let me take out some of this stuff i've not been very organized about this have i right i scrapped my original idea because trying to get it out the box while recording one-handed wasn't going very well um but what was i trying to say before i changed my mind um budget we had a really small budget for our wedding um so we made like we made all our invitations so these were our invitations um we made all our invitations um we made our order of services we got married at a tiny little church um Wendron church just outside Helston um beautiful church i'll show you some photographs in a little bit um but yeah we made all our order of service we made our save the dates um purple was kind of our wedding colors um so we also had a guest book which we decorated a little bit more we added the purple butterflies on and um, butterflies were a bit of a theme as well with my wedding um and then this was our guest book i must look back through this actually um it seems a little bit ridiculous because we didn't have that many guests so you got this massive guest book and we've only filled up like the first few bits <laughs> um but i must look back through those oh in fact oh look that's my nanny marjorie my grandma and granny oh i must look back through those that's really sweet. Right. I need to look through that. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, we made we made all kinds of bits and pieces for it. Um, and then I also found this little bag, which has got all kinds of little bits. Um, let me just tip it all out and we'll see what's in here. So I've got my tiara that I wore. Again, I will show you photographs. Um, I've got this garter is a garter this was my mum's garter from when she got married I wonder if she realizes that I've still got it um but this was my something old something borrowed and my something blue <laughs> um so this I wore this as my yeah from the tradition of wearing something old something new something borrowed and something blue this managed to do all three things and I think my um something new was probably my wedding dress um, what else did we have? I've got the champagne cork um, that was popped for our wedding. So our wedding toast. Um, the name cards from um, the tables for the dinner. A couple of the little butterflies that um, we had these as a lot of sort of decorations on the table. And then my mum did all kinds of little crazy bits and pieces. We got two rubber ducks, which actually the kids have got nowadays. Um, which were a bride and groom. And then in each of our wine glasses were these little tiny glass butterflies um, that my mum put in there. So again, I've kept those nice and safely. They're really pretty. Um, and we, let me show you some pictures. I don't, I couldn't find our proper wedding album. We had one, it wasn't anything fancy. We had it printed by um, just photo box. Um, but I did find this, which has got some photographs in from our wedding day. Um, so let me see if I can find some decent ones. I've got all of my little nieces and nephews who were our bridesmaids and bridegro bridegrooms. I don't know, not bridegrooms. Um... There's me getting out the car with my dad. Um, let's see. Sorry if I'm skipping through some. I would just think I'm just going to find kind of the decent pictures. Um, 
I like this this one here as well of me sort of coming in walking down the aisle with my dad you can see my flowers there I love this one because he wasn't supposed to take pictures the photographer wasn't supposed to take pictures during the service um, but he managed to sneak and get this one and I love it because that's me and Tom actually exchanging our vows um the church it's a tiny little church but it's absolutely lovely signing the register and there we all are the signing of the register and then there's me and tom leaving the church married look how young we are talk to 22 year olds nowadays and i just can't believe i can't imagine them getting married but yep yeah. There we are. There's some gorgeous photos from the reception, actually. Let me skip through a second because there'll be some. Oh, here's a big, good picture of the church. There's the church. Um, let me skip through some. <laughs> Confetti. Um, me and Tom in the car. And then here we go. Yeah, so we had our reception at the Falmouth Beach Hotel, which no longer exists because it burnt down, which is a shame. But it did mean that we were able to get some fantastic photographs on the beach. Um, and some of our favourite photos, actually, are photos from the beach. I need to do something with this. I need to get this one properly printed. But yeah, our wedding party. It was a good day. It was a good day. It was a long time ago, but it was a good day. So there we go. That's a little bit, and you round into my giant face, a little bit about our wedding day. So now we need to get the kids to bed so that we can open a bottle of something to celebrate our wedding day. Um, and yeah, I'll probably leave it here for today, but I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really nosy. So I really like seeing things about other people's weddings or like other people's past and just delving into that kind of thing. So it's the type of thing that would interest me. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you all tomorrow. It's back to work. The kids go back to school tomorrow. So we can all take a little bit of a breath and get lots of things done. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.